Like the majority of us, Lewis is afraid of rejection. He has inventions that he believes can change the world, but he's afraid to show it to other people because of what they might think and that they might not accept him for who he believes he is and for the changes that he believes that he can make. As Lewis goes through life, he gets some success, but there's always something holding him back. The opportunities he knows that he should take and the risks he knows he needs to take to be successful in what he wants to do. He doesn't take them because he's afraid. Now Lewis gets to a point where he's developed himself as much as he can. He's done everything to prepare. He just simply has to take the risk and show his invention to the world. So what do you think he does? And Lewis decides that he's going to live the rest of his life not afraid anymore. Yes, he's still gonna be afraid, but he's gonna take the risks. When he feels that sense of fear, he knows that he needs to take the risk the most. Fast forward 10 years in the future, Lewis is a successful entrepreneur. He's built a beautiful company. He has an amazing family and he helps a lot of people. His inventions have helped make the world a better place. That never would have happened if he wouldn't have got over his fear of rejection. No matter what we wanna do in life, fear of rejection is extremely normal. It holds a lot of people back from taking that opportunity of pursuing that path. It's what keeps us from picking up that new hobby or talking to that new person and trying to make them our friend or joining the gym or starting a YouTube channel. Whatever it is, there's always a fear and there's always a little piece of ourselves that is trying to resist and our brain doesn't like to experience change and it's because it lies in uncertainty and we might experience pain and we might experience rejection and rejection means we're not accepted by our tribe and it's good that we have this fear because it keeps us safe but also in our modern day it keeps us too comfortable and prevents us from doing the things that we really should go do if we want to take our life to the next level the most common fear of rejection comes with people now the first time that i really got rejected at least by a girl was in grade eight when we had our great final grade eight dance it's kind of like the mini prom and to give you some perspective i was about four foot eleven and maybe about like 85 pounds at the time. So I was like a really small kid and I was extremely nervous. Now, the girl that I liked and the girl that I wanted to ask to dance with me was about five foot eight and she was a lot taller than me. So you can tell there was an extremely awkward dynamic and I mustered up the little courage that I had and I asked her to dance and she said yes. Now completely to my surprise, I was expecting a hard no. I was actually successful and it's because I took that risk and I danced with her for two songs and people started to look at us and we were, and she, you, I could tell that she was real embarrassed to be seen with a little tyke like me. And so when I asked her to dance for the third song and the third and final slow song of the night, she said no. And, and being honest, that, that hurt worse than just saying no the first time. Like that just confirmed the theory that it was just all about pity on me. And I just like to look back on that situation and think about how like, how little significance it had on the rest of my life. But like, man, I cried myself to sleep that night because it just felt so bad in the moment. And that's the thing with rejection. It's, it stings extremely hard in the moment. But once we get through that uncomfortable feeling of the moment, it just gets easier. Once you get rejected that first time and once you get rejected more and more and you just learn to deal with it. And after a few days, it's like, it doesn't even happen. Now, if someone doesn't want to talk to me or I get rejected, like, it phases me for about 10 minutes and then I just move on to the next thing because I've gotten used to it. If you're afraid to do something and you're afraid to take that risk, it's generally because that thing is something that you actually need to do. And it's something that's gonna improve your life in general and it's a leap you need to take. The best things in life are on the opposite side of fear. And if we're always staying in our comfort zone, then we can never actually achieve what we wanna go do in life. Any major thing, anything that really means something to you, you're gonna be nervous for it. Every time I go to start a video or it's a video that I'm nervous to make, I know that video is probably worthwhile making because I'm nervous to make it. You can't expect to win if you're just afraid to lose. You can't focus on the fear of what might happen. You can't just focus on the negative aspects of what, of what might happen if it doesn't go well. You have to be willing to accept that if it does happen and just hope for the best and be present in the moment and just do your best to ensure the situation goes well. Visualizations are an extremely powerful tool and when it comes to approaching people and talking to new people and just success in general, visualizations are something that you need to be doing. It simply encompasses just seeing a situation happen in the positive way in your mind. So just close your eyes and whatever situation you want to happen, say it's approaching a new person at school or hitting a PR in the gym, then you just need to visualize that in our mind. Our body will respond to what the mind believes is possible. Our mind has a tendency to focus on the negative aspects and get caught up in what might go wrong in order to protect ourselves. But if we can flip that coin around and use it for our advantage and visualize a positive outcome, then it's more likely to happen because we're gonna be less stressed and we're gonna be more present. We're not gonna be so nervous. And in turn, that's gonna make us just do better at what
whatever we're trying to do. You also have to know that sometimes rejection is the best thing that can happen. Yes, a situation might not work out in the way you want it, but think of all the things you learn from. You learn from your mistakes, you learn what not to do, and you learn what you could do better to learn the next time. And it might also keep you from going down a path that you aren't really meant to go down. Once you've also built like a catalog of rejections, like you've had it a few times and it just hurts less and less every time and then you just get easier and you just get better at dealing with it and in turn that builds confidence because you know you've put in the work and you know you've learned from your mistakes and so you can just go do it so much better. There's not really any shortcut around it. You simply have to go do it and experience it for yourself. And yes, I know it's hard, but it's part of the process. And no matter what you want to achieve in life, you actually have to go and start experiencing this and just get comfortable with being uncomfortable.